Well, off to hang myself. Watch and learn! Item servers down. That is bad. I was kind of planning on streaming Team Fortress 2 today. I might be able to do some workshop review. <laughs> uh, that's about all I could think of, man. Like, if, if TF2 is down, editing stream. You do not want to watch an editing stream, man. Like, I'm telling you, editing is the dullest, most boring fucking shit imaginable. Okay, okay, there's, like, a few phases to editing, right? There's... It really depends. Like, okay, let's say I'm editing a Fish Bites or something. That is literally just me watching my own stream going, Oh, that's a funny moment. That's a funny moment. That's funny. Oh, that was kind of cool. Just that over and over again until I have half an hour worth of footage. I can... I spend, like, fucking ten hours a day doing that sometimes. For editing, like, a more high-effort video, there's, like, usually two, sometimes three phases to that. First phase is, g like, sifting through all of the fucking footage for anything that's relevant. Anything that's relevant to my talking points is just like, oh, here is the weapon functioning. Particularly. Um, or typically, even. Like... Okay, eviction notice. Like, let's get some footage of me punching someone and getting the speed boost. Or punching someone and seeing just how little fucking damage it does. You know, that's that's the kind of footage I need to get. Or, in the case where I talk about some other specific weapon, then I need to, you know, sift through, look for clips of that happening. And then what I usually do is I organize those clips. So it's like miscellaneous clips of just, like, things I only need to talk about for one or two seconds, like the reserve shooter or the pocket pistol or something, bam, they go over here. Uh, clips of me using the Gru, because I talk about that a lot, bam, they go over here. Clips of me using the eviction notice here, KGB here, bam, 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 bam. All organized so that I know exactly where I need to go in this giant pile of fucking clips in order to, you know, slot it into the right place. Now, I usually like to get about 12 hours of footage like as a as a minimum like my my editing is already fairly minimal it is not that impressive what i what i managed to do it still takes like at the very least a full day like a whole entire day of me doing nothing but sitting here and editing and that is if i'm very very lucky if the video ends up being a lot more complicated, like something like the pistol video ended up being, then it's at least a few days. But if you want to be super low effort and have like much longer clips running so that, you know, they take up just way more time code and they don't necessarily have to be as relevant to what you're talking about. Hey, that's a lot less visually interesting, but it's way fucking faster. I trade Zesty's editing. Zesty's editing is like fucking insane. It's on another level, man. Like, for someone who pretty much does this as a hobby, the, 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 the sheer amount of effort he goes into in terms of his presentation is fucking outstanding. But hey, great editing doesn't always mean, you know, great takes, unfortunately. Or a great personality in terms of Adam Rosner, that fucking cocksucker. Hate that fucker. Want him to die. Anyway, I, I guess that's okay. I don't know. I feel like... Hmm... There, there's something about it that, like, rubs me the wrong way. That's horrible. You know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's it goes with fucking nothing. And I gotta do this shit. Oh, you know what? That's not bad. Um, that's... Everything else is awful. But you know what? That one's kind of neat. Anyone ever told you that you look kind of like Charlie Day? No. I've gotten Morbius a lot, though. Yeah, it's like the heavy steel jaw of Summer Fun cosmetic that people only ever have with, like, the Warhead and the Purity Fist. It's like that, but all class, because we gotta make it all class, because of course we fucking do. I 
guess it's fine. I mean, Pyro's got a lot of eye cosmetics. Like, honestly, as far as those go, this is pretty minimal. It's decently Halloween-y while still being somewhat, like, applicable all year round. I think it's okay. I probably wouldn't wear it, but it's fine. Um, this one sucks. This one looks kind of neat, actually. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Of course, it has to be on, like, four different... Or, uh, excuse me. Five different colors. Um, I am kind of disappointed that a lot of the unusual taunt effects end up being either Halloween or Christmas-themed. But, like, usually the Halloween ones at least still end up looking pretty good. I actually like... Oh, Sylvie, be nice. I have to pick up this cat. Excuse me. Yeet. Um, I do wish that the texture of, like, these sort of metallic barrel ring sort of things would was like a bit more oh it looks it looks painted on and I wish that wasn't the case but I appreciate the concept and honestly it looks pretty good um another gnome engineer wow good we needed another one of those uh this one I actually think that's kind of cool. Like, I kind of like that one. <laughs> He's like, oh, I do not like this. Not a fan. It's, 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 I think it's a bit too goofy for me. It's Maggie. All right. See, now that Rocco was really popular, we're going to get a lot of stuff like this. There's something moving in my window. I think the thing with Rocco is like, oh, hey, crocodiles can actually get, like, like, they can be that small when they're babies and stuff. You're not gonna have, like, a giant fucking maggot. Like, I can believe that the sniper, he's out there in the bush or whatever, he sees a baby crocodile, he's just like, oh, my, this is my new pet. Like, you know, he does with the one in his fucking pocket, the little snaggletooth. I don't believe that the soldier is just like, I have found a giant maggot. Hatched from a mutant maggot egg. This is my child. This reminds me, like seeing these facial expressions, this reminds me of that werewolf dude from the scary godmother movies. Does anyone else even know what the fuck I'm talking about? Yeah, and we have werewolf demo. We don't need this. And I say that because the wolf man in that movie and in those like TV movies also looked extremely ugly. Like, I get it. Fucking vaporware and shit, right? Dude. I love palm trees, man. I live in San Diego. I fucking love palm trees. This, this is not how you represent my people. <laughs> this is like if Arizona cans were turned into weapons. Oh my god, that's so accurate. See, I think that there's like... There's this idea that a lot of people want to have for a war paint, like, ooh, mummies. Because it's like, you know, mummies are Halloween themed. Bang, bang, boom. Get it in the game. But, a problem. Mummies are like one fucking color. Oh, cool. Well, uh, you know, mummies there in the desert, right? What, what do you, uh, what color is the desert? Same fucking color as the mummies. So it's all just like one color that just doesn't look all that great. Just this big monochromatic beige nothingness. Like, we had a, a mummy war paint that, to my recollection, wasn't horrible or anything. It had, like, the eyes poking out from under the bandages. And, like, yeah, you could do something interesting with a sort of pharaoh idea like i don't know hieroglyphics or a sarcophagus gold adornment something 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 but it's just like oh sand i like sand it's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere and you know what that's just great because i fucking love sand i love eating sand cat behind the curtain you see her there Hi, Sylvie. Yeah, purple and green combo. Thanks, Doc. The Hulk gun. It really, do it really does look like one of those Incredible Hulk toys. Like, oh, the Incredible Hulk, Hulk smash fists. 
Now at Target for $59.99. Oh no, the cursed Corvette. He's caught a case of Corvette 19. This seems like it would be a Doctor Who villain or something. You know what I mean? Corvius. Stop! How are we not done with Morbius yet? Like, as a society. Oh my god. God, the fucking Technicolor war paints are just on full blast today. Literally, the one thing I appreciate about this is the sort of macaw mask randomized colors thing. Everything else about this is heinous. Yeah, like, if you... If you tone down the colors a little bit, make it not as, like, bright and vivid or whatever. It's just, like, this isn't a bad concept. It's just an awful execution. Like, it's so neon and just putrid. It makes me sick. It's like cotton candy ice cream or something, man. It's just, like, just smelling that shit's make, gonna make me want to vomit. This one's a lot more pastel-y, but... Honestly, of the war paints we've seen fucking lately, this one's probably the best. <laughs> yeah, it's Arizona cans, but better. With like, ooh, it's got fancy literary on it. Yeah, it's still ugly, but it's better than the other war paints we've seen lately. I'm trying desperately to decipher this one. Like, are the drawings bad on purpose? Or was this someone's best attempt? Because, like, I get that, like, you know, the ideas the Mercs probably drew. These look like battle plans or something, right? That's the vibe I'm getting here. It's like the ideas the Mercs drew these, but it, it... The thing is, it looks so shitty. It looks shitty, but not in what I would say is the correct way. It looks like this was drawn in paint. Not necessarily, like, drawn with a marker or a pencil or something, which would really sell the effect, I think. Like, if it didn't look like it was drawn in a computer program, you'd have something that's, I think, a lot more silly and charming. But because it looks like it was done in, like, five seconds in MS Paint with just, like, the default brush tool, oh, it just looks, it just looks like crap. Um, bats. Super generic. okay color like if it was this purple for the one we saw earlier like the the harvest one i think that would be a lot better because this is not a bad purple for a war paint but like bats generic hate it god a lot of crap war paints i hope we get good ones like i really do like i hope to fucking god we get like another swashbuckle this year God Swashbuckled is awesome. Like, some of these people, like, decent colors. Generic as fuck. It's like, it's like we run into decent pattern concepts, horrific eye searing colors, or decent color composition, generic as fuck concept. Like, fuck me, dude. And you know for a fucking fact that these pumpkins are clip art. You know for a fucking fact they are. Like, again, it's not bad. I guess it's just generic as fuck. How many fucking pumpkin war paints do we have? How many bat and candy corn and skeleton and fucking god. How many generic Halloween war paints do we have? Like that's an easy Merc grade. Without question. Once again, you just get into hyper-saturated fucking garbage! Come on, man. I like the black texture. It looks good. Just put an actual skin on it. It's like one after the other with the fucking war paints, man. Okay, okay. Let's check this one before we check the other ones. I like it. It's got a decent pattern with decent colors. With a unique wear. You fucking did it. You made a decent one. <laughs> Booker gun. <laughs> Booker gun. <laughs> you got the Booker disease and you will die now. But honestly, like, 
all booger memes aside, like, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was kind of like Metroid vibes. Like, it really gives me that sort of overgrown alien sort of feel, and I kind of dig that. I didn't think boogers until you guys said it. But now, now I just see boogers. So you've ruined that for me. I liked that war paint, you ruined it for me. Um, oh god, Canada, but black. I'm not allowed to say that. Fucking Canadians. Shaker, explain yourself. Cultist cow. Okay, these are nice. I actually kind of like this one. Like, it's another edgy hood for Sniper, but I like how it's actually team color. And it has, like, different styles on it. This one's cool. I like this one. This one's nice. Like, especially with the non- eye mask version. I can see this working for like a lot of different styles of loadouts. This is nice. I like this one. Zoidberg Pyro Hat. <laughs> Look at me! I'm Dr. Zoidberg, Pyromaniac! It is time to go and burn the robots. Like, yeah, I get it. Another edgy sniper hood, but like, I feel like this one's honestly slightly less edgy, except for like the eye mask one, which is like hyper edgy. <laughs> but this one's nice. It's just like a nice little hoodie. I can dig it. I mean, like, it's a Futurama reference, so that's, that is funny. Or at least, it looks like part Futurama, part, you know, Cthulhu mythos. It's funny, but, like, if it's not Halloween restricted, then I think that would be a problem. Oh, God, with the binoculars. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't like the idea of Dr. Zoidberg with, like, realistic human eyes. Um, so is it, what the f Anyway, this one, I don't know, I almost feel like you'd want a set to go along with this one. So, like, you know that one uh, cosmetic the engineer has where it's like a sort of robot body with like an Iron Man thing in his chest? I think if you had something like that for the medic, like as a part of a set for this, that would automatically make it a lot better. Oh, uh, this one's a bat. The animation work is very impressive. I greatly appreciate the animation work. It's just like, it's it's just a bat at the end of the day, unfortunately. Oh, Draggy Draws, you made that one? Yeah, you got like a good, like, what, what other ones have you made, actually? Oh yeah, Draggy. Uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You've made some of my least favorites. If I, if I may provide some criticism, which I've been doing, regardless of your input anyway. You seem to have a thing with very, very bright colors. And I'm not sure if it's gonna work for, like, a war paint. Like... I, th that's not what I meant to, to click on. I meant to click on this. This is fucking fantastic. God damn, this is nice. Okay, the, the blue team color, honestly, it's not even that much worse. Like, I feel like red team color is fucking god tier. Blue team color is, like, still not that bad. This is still really good. Like, holy shit, though. This one, this one fucks. And it's still got, like, some bright colors in there. Like, this sort of gold color, that's really nice. I just meant to, like, pull this one up as a sort of, as a sort of example of, like, here's how you do a really good war paint. Because this is fucking spectacular. Like, yeah, I want to see this in the game. Fuck yeah. This one fucks. I think it's just important to take a few cues from some of the very well-received um, war paints on the workshop and not just have what is effectively, like, color vomit, for lack of a better term. Like, my favorite skin in the entire fucking game is geometrical teams. 
which is like not a super um, like vibrant in your face skin it's just like it it fits the tone of the game so fucking well and it like it works on both teams and it's really nice and it gives your weapon, like, you know, a, a, a personality, right? Like, I feel like that's what a Warpage really strives is. Like, this is this is my gun. This is mine. That is a fire hazard. That is not OSHA approved. Heavy is not forklift certified while wearing this. Yeah, you gotta find the right balance. Because, like, you can't have it be too monochromatic. And that goes in terms of both uh, dark colors and light colors. Because, like, if everything is rainbow splotched then, you know, it's just like this big, almost eyesore. But if everything is too dark, then it's just like, what is he even holding? Like, um... I thought that was clockwork from Sly Cooper. Anyway, um... That's, okay, like, here is a spectacular example. This is a really nice skin. Nice, bright colors. Really vivid, but... They're very carefully chosen colors. Very carefully chosen. Very, like, well integrated with... With the, the sort of secondary off-black. Very nice. This is a really nice skin. I am unfortunately not much of a sort of graphic design artist. I can't really make my own war paint and be like, you dumb fuckers, this is how you do it. I can't really do that. Graphic design is not my passion. Oh, and of course you can paint it. Uh, I hate that the paint makes it makes it look like teeth. Like, I, I have finger teeth. Oh god, it moves. Nope, it's... Nope. Mm -mm, not a fan. Also, one more time. Uh, yeet! Wait, look at the full body. Oh god, what is wrong with his feet? Oh god, I got like foot jump scared. Hold the fuck up, what is wrong with his feet? <laughs> it's just like, what? It's just an ordinary part. Oh my goodness! Oh, I hate that. Oh, that is heinous. Hmm, <laughs> don't like it. Okay, I have seen people try to make a good granite skin for fucking years now. This is like one of the best attempts I've seen, if not the best. Like, and for a black and white war paint too, like those are so hard to pull off. But it looks good. It looks surprisingly good. Like, I think, yeah, I think more variety in color. I think if there was, like, a tertiary sort of granite texture, you would have, like, a slam fucking dunk. Like, already this is good with a tertiary texture. I think this would be, like, primo. Like, absolutely perfect granite skin. No one else would even need to try. At a glance, I'm gonna be real, I don't even know what this one is going for. Overall, I think this is an okay skin. I really like the texture work, the color, like, I think it's the green more than anything. The green is... Oh my god, it's Bioshock themed. I would not have guessed that. Team colored. Team colored might work. But, like, I, I feel like when there's, um, you know, a color you want to go with, like, we what we were just looking at with that one really good fire one, then the other color that you're not going for is going to suffer for that. I just feel like this was made for very specific hats. Like the Waxy Wayfinder. Like you unbox a Waxy Wayfinder with this motherfucker on it, boom. That shit sells for like 200Ks or something. Wait, Jungle Update? This is from 2017. Is this a reference to something? Funk drew up a concept. Funk made this? Like, Funk was on the whole TF2 art style thing way before Zesty was. If there's someone who understands, like, how to make a decent TF2 cosmetic, I could believe that would be Funk. Uh, not bad. Not a bad set. I kind of like it. It, uh... Like, from this image, this very nice stylized comic looking image, 
I got sort of like a, almost like a Nazi vibe. And here I am saying it looks good. Fuck it, the Nazis dressed well. Fuck you. Uh, this one, this is really nice. I like this. I'm maybe not so much of a fan of how far down the sort of shirt goes compared to the vest. It almost looks a bit silly, but at, at the same time, that is a nice cosmetic. Let's go. That's a good idle time. I feel like Engineer, like just as a class, has a lot of potential for some really great idle taunts. Like, I'm pretty sure someone has made this now, but like years ago, I always wanted there to be an Engineer taunt where he'd like swing a lasso around and like do lasso tricks with it, like jumping through it. I'm pretty sure someone's made that now. And I'm really happy about that. And I really hope it gets into the game. Oh, this is a weapon. Wow, you don't see too many of these. I mean, hey, it's... Oh, it breaks like the bottle! Uh, instant 10 out of 10. Instant 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Put it in the game. This is the exact same hood we saw for Sniper earlier, but now it's on Spy. Also extremely edgy, as evidenced by the fact that give me a fucking break. This is what they start with. Okay, Glacial Gills. Now, is it the model of the Holy Mackerel, or is it a PNG? Mother f Let's pretend for a moment that we have a shred of talent in it within our, our little baby fingertips, right? Has there even been an unusual where, like, a school of fish just orbit around your head? Has that been done? At all? Really? Has it been done? Because I'm pretty sure that would be a lot more appealing than getting vomited on <laughs> by a PNG of the holy fucking mackerel. Literally just the TF2 wiki image of a Manco supply crate key on what looks like, what is that, Civic Duty Mark II or something? Good lord. I'm already, like, exhausted. This is this is all you get of me. There, there we go. There we go. Don't even fucking tell me that someone got the nerd emoji into being, like, a scout cosmetic. Um, wow. Generic pumpkin war paint with purple, orange, and green on it. Number 587. JC the hyena donated $1. Frick you for dissing Sonic.x, you freaking buttface. And I'd do it again. Frick you for grooming underage children in your uh, Discord server, by the way. JC the Hyena, the author of Sonic.exe, is a fucking horrible person. Hey guys, I went on vacation to Australia. What do you think? I think people have realized that, like, orange and green are overdone as shit for Halloween cosmetics. And it's just like, alright, what do we got left? What else is a kind of spooky color? I know. <laughs> Purple. Oversaturated purple. That texture work is really good. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, that is fantastic texture work. Pick something besides bright ass purple. It looks like they're made of fucking lean. Like maybe you can have the bright purple as like a sort of accent. Like in between these sort of, like I, I keep pointing at the screen, right? Like you guys can see what I'm fucking pointing at. But it's like, in between these sort of lines here, like in the wood, the little cracks in the wood, you can keep, you can keep them purple there. Or hey, maybe have like a sort of, you know, macaw mass effect there where it's like, ooh, sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's like uh, a ghostly palish blue green, something like that. Maybe sometimes it's red, maybe it could be team colored. Who knows? You could do so much with it. Why is it all bright fucking purple? Also, why does this exist? You're on crack! My friend, you are doing crack cocaine! Oh god, have two more been posted already? Hang on, I wanna see them. <laughs> He's having a brain blast. But up, but up, but up. Yeah, 
Yeah, this buy one looks fine, and then he just got like fucking furry pyro. Portal plastered but teal? You'll be happy to know that this comes from the creators of Portal Plastered. And like you can tell. Bane donated one dollar. Guys, the enemy intelligence. Go get it. Ah, Batman. You've come to take my intelligence, have you? Ah, Batman, I am your father. You know, he he does that, and then he cuts Batman's hand off. And he throws the Joker, like, over the side into the, the reactor core. And then in episode 9, the, um, the, the Harvey Dent is like, uh, somehow the Joker has returned. The thing about this is not meshing correctly with my brain. I think it's the fact that the chains don't stick out. Like, I don't want them to stick out too much, like, to have a bright or, like, this really thick outline over them or something. But I also think that because they're very similar in tone to the red and blue they don't stick out as much you know what i mean like if you were to grayscale this i feel like the red and the gray or the and the blue and the gray would end up being very similar colors and so they don't like pop like yeah like the grips and the colors and all that stuff that's good it's just like the actual chain texture i think is like, maybe it's a good thing that it doesn't pop as much because it's not like, oh, all in your face or whatever. But at the same time, I feel like if it's also a big draw of your weapon, then, uh, or of your war paint rather, then that's something you want to be more on display. But overall, I think this one's fine. It could just maybe use a few more tweaks. I get it. It's a Twin Peaks reference. However, holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh, the back scratcher! What do they do to you? The Pokemon music is also greatly appreciated. Honestly, this one's pretty good. I like this one. Good Halloween unusual effect. Uh, Carbon and Damascus. Where's the Damascus? Where'd you put it? Where did it go? What have you done? Is it supposed to be this? Because that looks like... It looks like scales. Or like roof tiles, almost. Where's the Damascus? Reinforced with carbon fiber and 500 layer Damascus. Bro, you're not trying to sell me on, like, its stats. I have turned myself into a baguette scout. I am the baguette spy. On the one hand... That is kind of cute. On the other hand... That is tacky. Oh, and of course you got you gotta have the fucking the boat on like <laughs> boat around waist plus boat on head combo <laughs> for ultimate boat damage. Like you instantly get that medieval feeling from this. I imagine this would look. Oh, I want to see how this looks on like demo knight swords. Ah, uh, can't say it. Um. Oh, God. Ma! <laughs> There's a weird fucking cat outside! Oh, my God. Who who's the guy from the first Harry Potter movie? <laughs> Professor Quirrell? Now he's the spy. Oh my fucking god, is there there's one for Sniper too! <laughs> Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Motherfucker! How many of these are there? They're all awful! I hate them! God damn it! There's one for like every fucking class! I think Soldier's the only one who doesn't have one because he wears the fucking helmet. It's his chin is clipping through his collar. Why is he boring tiny spies? Bro, why the fuck is he eating tiny spies? Why? What? Look how terrified they are. You're too late, Spider-Man. 
Weed has been legalized. <laughs> like, un I, 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 is it a step in the right or wrong direction that unlike the potted plant one, they didn't have like the, the spy's head hitbox outlined exactly around where this fucking item goes. So they just could be like, listen, it doesn't fuck with hitbox recognition. Snipers will be totally fine. Relax. Like, is it, is it bad or good that they're not immediately on the defensive? Is this one actually kind of good? Good textures? Not bad colors? <laughs> it's decent! It's a decent warp paint! We found one, guys. Thank God. I like the, I like the ghosts. They're like etched into the metal. That's nice. It reminds me of like Soul Sand from Minecraft. Simple stripe. It looks nice. That does not... Okay, I think... Okay. Actually, now that I'm looking at it... I was gonna say, like, maybe the yellow could be redone, but honestly... Because, like, the yellow seems to be the same between uh, the red and the blue, which does maybe seem to be the case. I might be colorblind, though. But, looking at it again, it actually seems to gel quite well. I actually like this one. <laughs> Simple. So just... Oh. Oh, well, that's good. Why does it look like that? Why why does your thumbnail look like crap? This is good. Phlogistonator Halloween fire fix. Bro, it's like the coolest part of the phlogistonator fire. Alright, that does look sick though. He looks like a taco. <laughs> he really does! Oh my god, you could be like the taco engineer. Ooga. <laughs> and stop staring at me with them big old eyes. It does seem like too uniform, but I get that like, you know, it's a crocodile. You don't have much to work with. But maybe if you went for like the sort of underbelly scales, which are usually more of a pale color, that would be a nice way to mix it up while still keeping it on theme. Hold on. What the fuck does this look? Hold on. Hold on. My, my brain is activating right now. I've seen this, like, exact color combo before somewhere. Generic eye-searing colored war paints, but with pumpkins and candy on it, so that it's fitting for Halloween. I wish I had a gun. For myself. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Bull blueprints. Okay, can I get, like, a... Hang on. Oh, wait. is this a war paint for ants i can't fucking see it it should be at least three times bigger than this your promo image look at the star man come on the chaos emeralds <laughs> uh, you mean the chaos emeralds uh, my fellow Americans. Hey, soldier. <laughs> soldier, I need your help. I am trying to sneak around the enemy base, but I am dummy thick. And the clamp of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the enemy team. Now Scout can have lemon-scented anal sex. Tell me if you understand that reference. Um, it's, it's not bad. I don't know why you'd want your Scout to have no legs. That's kind of weird. It's covered in boogers. There's a snack. Hit you! Hit you! Oh, jeez! My gun is radioactive. My hands are falling off. Ah, oh. this one's not bad. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I want to see the fucking. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's like when Master Uguay is about to die and he's like, My diamonds come. 
he walks off into the petals. He ascends. I understand that someone told you that orange and teal go really well together. I have some bad news for you. You still gotta be careful with that. Oh, that's horrifying. I kinda like it, though. Like, see, this is a creative Halloween skin concept. Because it's, it's skin! Skin! Master Ogwe donated $2. My time has come. Kanga dances into the afterlife. That's how I want to go. A Kung Fu Master Spy. If we gave Spy a katana, we could have Virgil Spy finally. Why does his face look like that? Why does his eyes look like that? Also, this one's a brain barrier. I'm very sorry, Heavy. It's not going to prevent you from getting headshot. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. Head cannon. That's, that, that's what we on the internet, that's what we gamers call a funny. Why? If you think I'm fucking done with this, you're wrong. What the fuck is this? I, I swear to fucking God, man. There's like, there's like these little trends, these little trends in the, in, in this, in the workshop, right? Where, where certain, certain characters, certain classes, right? They just attract certain kinds of people. And with, with... With the pyro, obviously, you have the furries. You you have the furries. I feel like soldier and engineer, they tend, maybe spy too, they tend to gravitate towards wacky dumb crap on the merc's head. Scout gets the memes. Like, look at that. You got the zoomer scout right the fuck there. And you got this stupid fucking nerd emoji face too. Scout just attracts like the zoomer memers. Who are just like, oh man, this is the funny joke of the week? The week? Oh, let's turn that into a Team Fortress 2 cosmetic that's going to last for the rest of the game's lifespan. Even long after everyone has stopped using the fucking Zoomer Wojak or this shitty nerd emoji, no, this, this shit cosmetic is still gonna be in the game. Memes have no staying power, that's why they don't deserve to be cosmetics in Team Fortress 2. Like, I think there are certain things in the game, like certain references within the community, that basically transcend that sort of thing, at least within the tf 2 sphere. If it's just some shitty fucking Twitter meme where you post it saying, Oh, this is what you sound like- Am I going fucking bald? Is that a bald spot? If it's just some shitty fucking Twitter meme, that's been posted this week. Who the fuck cares? It doesn't deserve to be a cosmetic in the game. I'm having a mental breakdown. Don't take pictures of my bald spot. I have lots of hair. Just gotta do the comb over. I'll be fine. <laughs> this cosmetic is making me lose my hair. This is what you decide to do with the talent that people like me just don't have. I can't make cosmetics. I'm... I, I tried. I tried Blender. I wasn't good at it. And you can't just say, oh, they're just making it as a joke. It's not like it's actually going to get accepted into the game. 
The Zoomer Scout made it in. The Zoomer Wojak meme Scout made it in. So you can't fucking tell me for two seconds that they're not actually trying to get this garbage into the game. No, the Zoomer Scout is my least favorite cosmetic in the entire fucking game. If this got in, if this garbage got in, instantly tops it. Instantly fucking tops the Zoomer Scout. <laughs> this is my Glacial Glaze. If it gets in the game, this is my Glacial Glaze. Right now, the Zoomer Scout hat is my Glacial Glaze. Fucking hate that thing. Like, listen, I can give the JoJo set a pass, because JoJo has been a thing since the fucking, like, 80s, and it's still going strong. Jojo at this point is like culturally significant because it has endured through decades and even then it's endured through like so many different stages of the internet from like the old re meme from fucking ages ago from like even before I knew Jojo was a thing I still knew about re I didn't know what the fuck it was from but I knew it people in like a year are going to completely forget that the Zoomer Wojak was even a thing. They probably won't even know why Gen Z are just sometimes called Zoomers. Life is pain, I hate. That's the long and short of it. Like, there is a case for some memes, right? Like, Shaker, you mentioned the team captain. That's based on the whole M. Bison, yes, yes meme. And it's like... People have effectively forgotten about that meme. Like, that meme is basically gone. But... Like, the hat still looks good. It's still a good-looking hat. This is hideous. This is fucking horrendous looking. Like, it's ugly, and it's ugly on purpose. Because, you know, it's obviously meant to be an exaggeration of, oh, this is what you look like, as opposed to my correct chat opinion. I just noticed the Demo Man Sombrero with two pirate ships. I think I might be done. And my absolute psychopathy, uh, bleeding in there for a bit. I hope I'm not going fucking bald. I gotta... So... I am so fucking self-conscious about that right now. Oh my fucking god.